Hi, my name is Ugnus, I'm a pianist and educator, and today I wanted to share a little behind the scenes video with you about the work that went into organizing a recent live stream concert with the Sono Ensemble. For those who don't know yet, me and my life partner Gunda co-founded a flexiform chamber music group called Son Ensemble. This ensemble was formed during the peak of the pandemic as we really wanted to play and perform in any way possible. I will link the website, Instagram and Facebook pages down in the description box, so do make sure to check that out. You know, it is our responsibility as artists to create and make work for ourselves, especially if nobody is giving any work. This pandemic is pretty much why I started my YouTube channel in the first place. YouTube was and still is the only way for me to interact with my audience keep me practicing, learn new things and record them. So last weekend was the Son Ensemble's live stream. We performed the Korngold's Suite for piano, left hand, two violins and cello, which I learned specifically for this concert. And then we did Schomburg's String Sextet, Transfigured Night. If you watched my previous live stream preparation video I made for my solo recital in October 2020, you probably remembered that I pretty much had one camera, one mic and one laptop. Kind of amateur. Well, for this live stream we learned new techniques, combined our gears and bought some extra stuff in order to make the video quality and audio quality as good as we could. In total we had two high quality DSLR type of cameras, six mics, video switcher, three laptops, two extra screens, a gazillion of cables, tripods, a cameraman and a person sitting behind the computers checking the sound and making sure everything is running smoothly. Trying to create a good quality project or a concert, things have to be done well pretty much from the very beginning of that project. So about a month ago before the actual concert, our brilliant production person made a plan for the setup. Initially, not many things changed from the schematics you see now, except that we did not include the phones operating as cameras, as shown in this plan simply because we did have problems with the frame rates and differences in quality. So here is a sneak peek to the behind the scenes action that took us five hours at minimum to set up the day before the live stream. Enjoy. Yeah, but we still get it because we're not going to get it. 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 We